It's 2019, and guess who's back? We are Kobe. about to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on mystery boxes. Your boy, Jake Paul. I gotta tell you, I was looking over his channel, and his views have dipped a lot, and you know, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that a million views is not a lot, but he's got videos with under a million views, and that's last year, he was pushing like five, six, seven, eight million per video. So I'm not surprised to see that he has become a little bit more desperate for money, which is the only way to really explain his newest video, which is called, I spent $5,000 on a mystery box, and you won't believe what I got. Insane! Allow me to explain. So uh, basically, there's this thing on the internet called mystery boxes. You buy them, you don't know what's gonna be in them. They come to your house, you open it up, and it's a mystery! You could get a pile of sh or you could get a Rolls Royce. So Mystery Brand is a website where you purchase different boxes with chances of winning things. Take for example this women's Christmas box. It costs $15 to open and you can win anywhere from the most expensive Los Angeles realty. What does that even mean? Realty? Well, you can't even click it, okay? It doesn't even give you more information, but apparently it's worth $250 million. I love that you can't click it. Like, they're just like, trust us. There's a $250 million house with your name on it. Imagine winning a $250 million house as like an eight year old, and then you owe $2.5 million a year in property tax to the government. All the way down to Icicle, site balance. I have no idea what the site balance is, but I'm willing to bet that this is probably what 99% of the people are getting. That is a very nice JPEG. I wonder if they just print out a picture of an icicle and mail that to you. That would be exciting. Or you might be as so lucky as to win a ginger man site balance. Did they not complete this? Like what is with the site balance? They have boxes that go as high as $250. A Louis Vuitton Supreme jacket all the way down to Nutella chocolate print hoodie. Wow. I'd rather get a freaking icicle sight balance, to be frank with you. Well, I don't think I need to look much deeper into this to know that it's a very strange overseas scam. The website is practically not even written in English. What, what more do you need to know? They're, they're saying the grand prize is a $250 million house. And today, Jake Paulers, or Paul Jakers, we are going to be uh, doing our own mystery box uh, thingy majiggy. Can we do that? Shit! I drink so much coffee! Cup of coffee, is that what we're calling it? I remember, I don't remember Jake being this nuts. I drink so much coffee. I don't think that guy drank coffee this morning, you know what I'm saying? There's some other energy coursing through this guy's blood right now, I'm sure of it. It's coffee. Hey, let me explain for five minutes now, Jake, get to the point! Basically, we partnered with this brand uh, called Mystery Brand. Net. So basically we partnered with them because they're like the best and they have like the dopest site and they have all of the dopest products and stuff like that. They're the coolest, dopest brand. We're partnering up with them. They're so cool. They're so amazing. God, I just drank a bunch of coffee. Woo! All right, let's finish this video up because I got to get somewhere and uh, I'm getting low on coffee. So let's wrap this up. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry, my sinuses are all clogged up for some reason. Like on their site, you could literally win like a Rolls Royce. Royce? You can win a bunch of Supreme stuff. You can win iPhones, iPads, all sorts of goods. And we partnered with them because today I am going to spend thousands of dollars on mystery boxes and see what I get. I feel like I'm watching a man deteriorate into insanity. I mean, this is bananas. Is he feeding an addiction? Because you wouldn't willfully advertise this to your kids for 14 minutes unless you really, really needed that money. Yeah, if you like surprises as much as I do and you like mystery boxes, stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh. Here we go, bye. You dick. When did he start editing his videos like a shitty version of America's Funniest Home Videos? Is this all it takes to make content? Is this all it takes to make content for kids on YouTube? I mean, this is this funny? <laughs> okay, so basically, there's a bunch of boxes on the site, and you can like open them virtually. They have all different types of stuff: hype beast, girls, gamers, clothing, a, a Christmas box, Christmas, popular boxes, Apple boxes, Mega Tech, all sorts of stuff. What are we feeling? What do you? What should we go for first? Some shoes? Should we try? Should we try and win some shoes? 
Start, start small, go for the car. All right, so I'm going for the box called Hype Shoes. Uh, that one probably has the dopest shoes in there. I'm a hype beast. What can I say? Honey, yes. I might be able to win the Nike Air Mag Back to the Futures Yeezys Off-White. Oh my God. So what you should know about these kind of sponsored videos is that he's doing exactly what they instructed him. Obviously, Jake Paul doesn't need shoes. He's a multi, multi-millionaire. He's got all the shoes he wants. He would just buy them outright. So what they're telling him to do is like, play the shoes. That's a popular one that a lot of your your kids who watch your show will want to play. So he's on here pretending that he cares about shoes and he'll go on to pretend that he cares about winning an iPhone. The Apple Boy box. I feel like I could win an iPhone in that. I'm gonna go for the iPhone right now. I mean, Jake Paul's got probably 20 iPhones. What does he care about it? If you go online to a casino website, you're gonna find the same thing. It's It's got this very addictive, instant gratification. So one, even if you do win the nice easies, I suspect they're probably gonna send you fakes from China. And two, most likely you're just gonna be winning a bunch of crap anyway, and good luck even collecting any of this. But that's even besides the point, because you're talking about eight year olds spending $100 to open a virtual crate for the chance of winning Yeezys or $250 million house. I mean, you have to be eight years old to believe that that's real. Again, here we go. Show me the money. Apple AirPods. I'll keep that. I'll keep those. Y'all, I won't never stop till I get the iPhone. I ain't never gonna stop gambling till I get the jackpot or until I have to sell my house and my cars or until I have to steal my mom's credit card. I'm gonna get that iPhone even though I could just buy it for a thousand dollars. I'm gonna spend seven thousand dollars to get a fake iPhone from China. Ooh. I want silicone, silicone shockproof case. Silicone? Silicone. Should we be concerned that Jake doesn't know what silicone is? This box is $15 a, a time to try, but you can potentially win like iPads and iPhones and stuff. So this is like a good valued one, I feel like, because it's like 15 and then you can get iPhones. So it's like, it's like, that's dope. Wow, that is a really good value. We call that in the gambling world, hedging your bet. I recommend all you kids, because $15, low entry price, you know? Everyone's got 15 bucks, it was Christmas. Come on, I know Nana gave you $100. Put it on the website, you got $15. Let's play the hype shoes one more time and see what we get. And when you sell the shoe back, you only you get a percentage of what you got it for originally. So you don't get the full value back. Um, but yeah, it helps you like customize like what you actually want to wear. This is fun, man. I'm in a mystery box more often. This is fun, man. I'm getting a crazy adrenaline rush. Yes! It's cool. Not like gambling at all. That's not why people get addicted to gambling for the rush of it. A perfect activity for an eight-year-old. Five percent chance. Apple Watch, 95% chance. Box price, this one's $1,138. I'm gonna confirm and submit it. Hopefully I win the iMac. Please, Jesus, I'm actually nervous. Cause I can actually win this, right? Like I can, like. No question, bro, you already won some good prizes. They're gonna actually mail this to me. Oh my God, okay. Why are you so surprised by that, Jake? You of all people should be convinced that they are gonna actually mail you stuff. You should let me be skeptical of this. If you're already skeptical in your video, I have no faith left in this website. They're gonna mail me this stuff, right? Cereal box opening for 1,138 and 43 cents. Apple Watch. Hey, okay, I wanted the iMac. Well, I'll take the Apple Watch. I'll take, I'll take the Apple Watch, that's dope. <laughs> oh, $1,100 for an Apple Watch. I'll take the Apple Watch, I'll take, I'll take the Apple Watch. That's dope, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I'm not saying that's cool. At this point, I think it's worth mentioning that Rice Gum, on the same exact day, made pretty much the same exact video, the same format, the same everything. His video was just so boring that there was really nothing more to show other than these clips. Although Rice Gum's take is even a little bit more spicy than Jake's, as he continues to insinuate throughout the video that this is a legitimate way to make money as well. There's no losing in this, because even if you get an item that you don't like, you just sell it back. Here we go. Hey guys, so I sold it back for like a thousand, which is so weird because I bought a hundred dollar box, but I got a thousand dollar shoe out of it. So I got some profit. Yo, I can sell it back for two thousand and buy even more boxes, bro. I bought one sixty. I can sell this back for 600 and make profit. I'm gonna do it. I'm making profit. 
I spent four dollars for this? Yo, I just finessed the website. Four dollar AirPods. You guys can see my balance right here. I started with like half of this and then I just kept opening stuff, got some cool stuff, and then I like sold back, so I made back some of the money. I'm up right now though, so like I've been having good luck on this site. Oh, that's a ten thousand dollar handbag. I'm about to sell it. Yo, ten thousand dollars. Also, something wonderful about Rice Gum's video is that it was trending. Yes, YouTube selected this of all videos to trend on this day. I think YouTube should be extremely concerned about how they trend videos. And the fact that this one can slip through the filters and be promoted by YouTube is pretty amazing considering how careful they are with channels like ours not to trend. Anyway, back to Jake. I kinda wanna see what you guys as fans, like I want you guys to go to mysteryband.net right now and play this game and tell me and tweet me or something if you guys win this, okay? Cause like, I want someone to win something amazing. He wants you guys to all play and win something amazing. By the way, the comments. Jake, I tried this website and I completely got scammed out of a large amount of money. I'm very upset to see you be sponsored by a company that scams people out of money. Wow, it sounds like she's just a sore loser. Oh, but Hamza Moklid, who looks like he's eight, says, yes, Jake, I win MacBook Air. Well, there you go. I mean, this is legit, you guys. I mean, it doesn't, you really don't get better, more legit feedback than that. That is it, guys. The items are on the way. Let's wait. Oh, snap. The goods are here. Hotel room. Shh. No way is this real right now. Are you seeing this, Ari? I'm seeing it, and there's one right here. I like, bro. They're actually here. I know. This stuff is here. Can you believe it? This is the best part of the whole entire thing. Is I don't even remember what we got. It's like Christmas all over again. This is like Christmas all over again. Look at all this amazing stuff. Go to mysterybrand.net. If you want to win some mystery boxes, this video was so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Because every day, my peace. Dude just spent $10,000. And he's making it look like he came up big. This has got to be one of the worst things I've seen on YouTube, simply because his fans are so young and so impressionable that, I mean, there's a reason you need to be 21 years old to gamble because you need to know what you're doing. It's a dangerous, it's addicting, it's a very, it's a vice, right? It's a, it's a real vice. Many lives have been ruined due to gambling addiction. And so when you introduce something like this that is quite literally gambling to an eight to 12 year old, especially on YouTube, which is supposed to be a reputable site, and this is supposed to be a family friendly channel. I mean, this is bananas. Parents have got to see this. Well guys, it may be 2019, but some things never change. So I've got some coffee brewing. I got some coffee brewing. I'm feeling super energetic. I've got a sponsor on the line who says that if I can get anyone to donate their spleen, they're gonna pay me $100,000 per spleen. And I've got a really bad coffee addiction, if you know what I mean. So guys, go to the link in the description to donate your spleen. I'm not so much coffee.